Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at the size of grouped data. We have a problem here. The table below shows the max of applicants in an aptitude test. Calculate the A, second decile, B, fifth decile, and C, ninth decile. By decile, we're talking about dividing the data set into 10 then we now have the various points, which is the second being the second decile and so on. Before we go ahead, we're going to expand this table. I first get the cumulative frequency. And you know, as the name implies, cumulative, you accumulate the frequency. So the first frequency here will still be maintained as six. Then this six plus this 10 gives 16. 16 plus this 24 gives 40 40 plus 26 gives 66 66 plus 18 gives 84 84 plus 9 gives 93 and 93 plus 7 gives 100 which means the population of the distribution is 100 we go further to get the lower class boundary the lower class boundary is required for calculating the decimals. How do you get the lower class boundary? If there's a class before this, it's going to be 11 to 20. The 20 will be added to this 21. That will give us um, 41. Divide by two, give us 20.5. So the lower class boundary there is 20.5. The same way, 30 plus 31 gives 61. Divide by two gives 30.5 which is as good as just saying okay we subtract 0 0.5 from here and that will give us um, 40.5 51 minus 0 0.5 gives 50.5 61 minus 0 0.5 gives 60.5 71 minus 0 0.5 gives 70.5 81 minus 0 0.5 gives 80.5 so we have this table expanded these are the things we need. So starting from A, we are to find the second decile. And we have the formula here as D2 equal to L plus 2N over 10 minus CFB over F multiplied by W. The L here means the lower class boundary of the second decile. Then this is 2 over 10. We are picking the first 2 out of 10. So we've explained earlier that decimals mean dividing data set into 10, then we pick the parts. So since we are picking 2 out of 10, then minus CFB means the cumulative frequency before the second decimal. This is the frequency of the second decimal. We have the class width. Let's go ahead to get each of the information. 2n over 10. This is required to identify the class that falls into the second decile. So our n is 100, as is the population of the distribution. So we have 2 over 10 multiplied by 100, and that is giving us a 20. So our 2n over 10 is 20. We now use this 20 and check the cumulative frequency. Where does it fall in? So we have a 6 here, 16. And 40, the cumulative frequency here is 40, which means 20 is within this. So our second decile falls here. We then go ahead to get the other information. So our L, which is the lower class boundary of the second decile, and our lower class boundary is 40.5. Then we go for the cumulative frequency before the second decile the cumulative frequency before the second decile since the distribution is arranged in ascending order of class intervals so we look at the one before the second decile so cfp is 16 now we go for f that's the frequency of the second decile this is the frequency of the second decile 24 and then the class width. If you look at this, we can have the class width from the lower class boundary. It could be 
80.5 minus 70.5, 10. 70.5 minus 60.5, 10. 60.5 minus 50.5, 10, and so on. So we have the class width to be 10. We then substitute into the formula to get our second decile. So D2 now will be 40.5 plus our 2n over 10 is 20, then minus CFB, which is 16, divide by F, that's our F is 24, then multiply by 10. 20 minus 16 gives 4, divide by 24, multiply by 10. In putting this in calculator, we have 40.5 plus 1.67 to two decimal places. Summing this up, we have 42.17, which represents the second decile of this distribution. And that's all for A. We go for B, which is the fifth decile. And the formula keep changing only on this part. Fifth, we are picking the fifth part of the division. So that's why we're having 5 over 10. And for your information, the fifth part is representing the half of the distribution. Therefore, for deciles, the fifth decile represents the median. Whatever we have as fifth decile is the median of this distribution. So we still have our 5n over 10. And our n is 100, and this is giving us 50. In order to identify the fifth decile, we need to go to the cumulative frequency where 50 falls into. This is 66, so 50 falls inside this. Therefore, our class with the fifth decile is this. So we get our lower class boundary from there which is 50.5. We then have our CFB, which is the cumulative frequency before the 50 decile. Before the 50 decile, this is the cumulative frequency of 40. Then we have our frequency of the 50 decile, which is 26. And the class width as from the previous solution, we have it as 10. We substitute all these into the formula to get our fifth decile. Our L is 50.5, then plus 5n over 10 is 50, then minus 40, divide by the frequency, which is 26, then multiply by 10, which is the class width. 50 minus 40 is 10, then divide by 26, multiply by 10. We simplify this part we are going to have 50.5 plus 3.85. 100 divided by 26 gives 3.85 to two decimal places. Summing this up, we have 54.35, which represents the fifth decile of this distribution. We then go ahead to calculate the ninth decile. And the formulas to only change on this n over 10. Since we are dealing with 9th decile, it is 9n over 10. And um, that is the one we are going to calculate first. That's 9 over 10 times 100, giving us 90. We now use this 90 to identify the 9th decile class. So the 90 is under the frequency. We have it here. So the 9th decile class is here. We now use this to get our L, CFB, and F. So for L, the lower class boundary of the ninth decile is 70.5. Then we have the cumulative frequency before the ninth decile. The cumulative frequency is 84. Then the frequency of the ninth decile, the frequency is 9. Then we have our class width as from the previous um, solutions, we have um, W to be 10. We then substitute this into the formula to get our ninth decile. 
our L is 70.5, then plus 90, since the solution of this is 90, then minus 84. That's the cumulative frequency before the ninth decile. Then divide by 9, then multiply by the W. So we are going to have this to be 6 over 9, multiply by 10. Simplifying this, we have 70.5 plus 6.67. After simplifying this with our calculator, summing this up now, we have it as 77.17, which represents the ninth decile of this distribution. And that's all for the solution of this problem. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to other videos on statistics. See you in our next video. Goodbye.